Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yitzha Allah. Koholoyim la, Yehawa, Bahashim Yawashai, Bahashim Rekakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And they're by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to take the water to other Akiyam, Akwa. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yehawa, Bahashim Yawashai to the best of their ability. It's Jachanan Nawaf, just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And just wanted to touch on a, a couple of articles that's uh, pretty pretty hot right now. And of course, you know, the uh, dying or the, you know, this president of Iran is pretty big, which, you know, they're saying, you know, it was weather related, fog, all this, that, and the third, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. If there are any more implications or whatever, you know, as time goes on, you know, as they do their due diligence, you might hear some shit. But hey, it could have been an accident. It may not have been an accident. But, you know, of course, you know, um, man's goings of the Lord. You how about Shemiel Shai? It's like it's raining, so I'm sitting outside. But anyway, uh, yeah, this, this could be, you know, a big turn, man. Big turnaround. Because the people over there in Iran, you know, they already, you know, you, you have this back and forth with um, the Israelis. The, you know, a couple of weeks back here, they shot all those supposedly missiles that way. And, um, you know, it's a lot going on, man. You know, these these people could, you know, shut down major oil exporting or importing areas. You know what I'm saying? Where, you know, they a lot of stuff go through their area. So that could run up your gas prices. <laughs> they could run up your food prices. Because, you know, of course, if you, you know, 18 wheelers and trucks, if they have to get this food to these particular places, supermarkets and things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? If the gas goes up, of course, it's going to go on everything. It's not just going to be food. It's going to be on anything that you would get from a damn pack of cigarettes <laughs> to a... Uh, to, to, to some pork chops in, in, in a motherfucking uh, supermarket for you, Jake. So things could turn up. Things could get very expensive here in a minute, you know. So we, we'll see what's going to come from this one. Um, now, this particular article, article was saying that they sought help. And I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm assuming a they sought help from the U.S. Um, it says the U, um, United States said Monday that arch enemy Iran sought assistance over a helicopter crash that killed President Ibrahim, which I think that would be um, Abraham basically, Rase, as Washington meanwhile offered condolences despite saying he had blood on his hands. Okay, well America got a bunch of blood on their fucking hands. You know, what about what about the Native American Indians? What about the, the so-called blacks? That you enslaved, that you still have to this very day. What about um, you know, the bombings that you've done in Japan, you know, with your atomic bombs and shit. And then not to mention just your trash ass food, your trash water, your trash air quality here in the Americas. And then not to mention just the, the way that you run things. People are just killing themselves anyway. Or people are just out and about deleting people. School shootings. You know? Motherfuckers committing suicide. Drug overdoses. What about all that stuff? So, you have a lot of blood on your hands. You so-called white people. You Edomites, man. The Lord is going to deal with you accordingly in a minute, man. Okay, it says, um, the State Department said Iran, which has had no diplomatic relations with Washington since the aftermath of the 1979 Islamic Revolution, reached out as Razi's aging chopper crashed in foggy weather Sunday. We have asked the Iranian government for assistance, State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller told reporters. We said that we would be willing to assist, something that we would do with respect to any government. Of course you would like to be there. Of course you would like to see what's going on. Of course you would like to be... Hey, you know what? Criminals, generally, they're the ones on the scene. You know, when, when, when shit goes down... You know, you you have criminals that are actually come back to the to the, to the scene of the crime, even though they've done it. Just as they'll stand there and be acting as if you know they're they're a caring citizen, right? 
You got people that know for a fact that they they deleted somebody and they'll be a part of the search. They'll be at the damn church with the candles and shit lit, man. Let balloons go. You know what I'm saying? All that stupid shit. So, of course, America would like to be on the scene to basically, uh, well, let's see how it goes. Let's see what people are saying. Let's see how, you know, people are taking in the information. <laughs> so you have to be, you know, Esau, man, that's why the scripture says to never trust thy enemy. Now, I will say with these people, since they haven't been um, fucking with America since 1979, that's a long time ago. But guess what? They have sense enough to know, hey, look, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man and Babylon the Great, which is America, is the enemy. So the scripture says to never trust thine enemy. At least they got sense enough to know that. Okay, it says, um, ultimately, largely for uh, logistical reasons, we were unable to provide that assistance. He declined to go into detail or describe how the two countries communicated, but he indicated Iran was seeking help in the immediate aftermath to find the helicopter, to find the helicopter who died along um, of um, Rossi, if I'm pronouncing his name right, who died along with um, Foreign Minister Hussein Amir Abdul Abdullaham and seven others. And these were, you know, major fig figures. They just kind of like focus on the president, of course, because he's the top, top main figure. It says the crash came after the United States and Iran reportedly held their latest quiet talks in Oman, arrived at increasing stability following open clashes between Iran and Israel. So, hey, look, man, ain't no telling what's going to come out of this story. We'll give it a moment. I didn't really want to touch on it right, right off, but I'm just, you know, kind of just, you know, just giving a briefing, you know, so to speak. Because if Israel or America is seen to have anything to do with this, and it really doesn't make no difference if they didn't, it's still the implication that people are going to have anyway, because they just know the track record of um, Israel and um, America. They know that these people are, they can do some things. <laughs> so we'll see how that go. The State Department in a statement offered um, official condolences over the deaths. As Iran selects a new president, we reaffirm. And they no telling. They probably didn't got to this new president. They didn't already kicked it with him. Hey, look, man. They probably set him up to just, you know, run the okie doke on their own people. Same shit that, um, you know, America's been doing forever, man. Causing discord among brethren. You know, that's um, that Proverbs chapter, uh, I think it's pro um, chapter 6. Where it talks about how the Lord hates um, those that cause discord among brethren. And that's what these um, so-called white people are great at. They, 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 that's their main number one somewhat tactic that they go to when it comes to war. They separate the people. They put, um, you know, the families against each other. They put the man against the woman. They put the, you know, the, uh, the children against the adults. They put the, you know, just it, it, they go in and they cause disruption and um, the ability to communicate they spread propaganda they spread lies they do all those things man okay so it says as iran selects a new president we reaffirm our support for the iranian people and their struggle for human rights and fundamental freedoms so you know when they say um you know um fundamental freedoms and shit like that that means freedom to self-destruct because when america comes in with the democracy it, it, it pretty much it, it you know that means your women are going to turn into whores. Um, you're going to have a lot of drug problems. You're going to have a lot of crimes. You're going to have a lot of stealing. You're going to have a lot of overdoses. You're going to have everything that America has. That's what your country is going to turn into if you accept um, anything from America. If you accept any part of their democracy, that's what your country is going to turn into. There's no doubt about it. And that's why the scripture goes off into talking about um, uh, uh, these, you know, them, them drinking that wine or, you know, them having that relationship with Babylon the Great, the virgin daughter of Babylon, the, the great whore. You know, a whore, you know, you can get diseases from a hoe. And America is the great hoe. And a lot of these countries done slept with this hoe. And, you know, they, you know, they got uh, baby mama drama. <laughs> you know, that's just me, you know, just as, as an example. You, we, we know how things go in America, man, when you get with, with a hoe. You know? You an NFL player, NBA player, you know what I'm saying? You sitting on 80, 100 million, 200 million, damn near, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And, and all of a sudden, this this lady comes in, and she just seems so sweet, so beautiful. She's beautiful. She's just so sweet. She's such a sweetheart at heart. 
The next thing you know, hey, she's she's she she's she's got more of your money than you have. <laughs> and that's pretty much what's going on with um you know a lot of these countries, man. So is is you know it's best to not deal with America. That's why um you know we tell our people, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, to come out of this place mentally, um, spiritually. To leave America alone, man. Just go and go do your job. You got a job, go to work. Go to the supermarket, get your food, you know, and do the best that you can as far as that. Because we are in a land where, you know, the scriptures talks about us being, you know, we eating uh, um, our bread to foul amongst our enemies. Because the food is trash. You know, you, but you do the best that you can. You come home, you cook. You, you, you know what I'm saying? You make the best of what you can make the best of it. And you, you, you chill until the Lord comes. Because that's what we're waiting on. Our daily bread is, is being supplied by the Lord, which his name is Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one in the Paleo-Hebrew. And the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior in the, in the Paleo-Hebrew, the savior or deliverer. And he will be a so-called Negro today if he was walking the earth. He wouldn't be this, this blonde haired blue eyed white guy that you um, normally see. You see? Because these, these so-called white people are the wicked, man. Um, that Job 9 and 24 says that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And the earth is them. So if they run in the earth, it, <laughs> you know, we know who ran in the earth. It's these so-called. They're no different than um, your, the so-called white man in Russia or Ukraine or here in the Americas. They're white people, too. So-called white people. We say so-called because they're actually pinkish and reddish in color. There's no such thing as white people. That's a social construct. But hey, 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 these people are running the world. They're the ones that's calling the shots. You think anything going to come out of this? Even if they, you know, if they if they find out that America or Israel had anything to do with this, it could be a little uproar. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, people are still going to back these people, man, because this is Esau Edom's kingdom. OK, it says, um. President Joe Biden's administration described condolences as standard and not showing support for Ronzi, who is a who as a judge presided over mass executions of political pr prisoners and under and under whose presidency authorities have cracked down on mass protests led by women. See, see, America, they're with shit that's out of order. America gives all the women, give women all the power. This place is all out of order. That's why it's, it's circling the drain right now. No, 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 no government can 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 survive the things that America deems to be um law or or, or um they deem it to be right. Women being a uh, you know he, he you know, this guy got a uh, his his vice you know the vice president is a woman under him, so to speak, and she probably called him more shots than he is. Because, you know, the, uh, the so-called Jewish husband. They don't tell him what they pillow talk about. But anyway, that, that's out of order. She shouldn't even be in no position like that. She should be um, um, telling younger women how to be great wives. How to cook, how to clean, how to sew, how to do things at the house. How to love on her man. That's it. That's all they're supposed to be doing. But these Americas, hey, they, they with um, um, women being over the man. Okay, it goes on to say the United States has often, but not always, offered condolences in the past to leaders it opposed with such messages sent over Joseph Stalin, Kim Jong Sun, um, Kim Sung the second, and Fidel Castro. But the condolence, but the condolence message, along with similar words from European nations, brought anger to some opponents of the clerical state who saw Racy's death as reason as a reason to celebrate. See? That's Esau though. Cuz when you look in the comment board it's, it's, it's nothing but you know um um you know praise for this guy being um you know deleted or whatever. Would you I mean, you know, I ain't tripping on that because hey, when it comes to you Edomites <laughs> and y'all get what y'all get, I'm on the same tip. So hey, I feel them. So fuck it. My C 
Alajad, a women's right activist who U.S. investigators say was the target of an um, assassination plot in New York, engineered by Tehran, wrote on X, formerly known as Twitter, your condolences only pour salt on the wounds of the oppressed. Right? Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin indicated that U.S. forces have not changed their posture after the crash in Iran, where decisions are ultimately made by Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, if I'm pronouncing that right, probably butchering all these names. I don't necessarily see any border regional um, security impact, Austin told reporters. He preemptively, preemptively denied any U.S. role and said there was no reason to think it was anything other than an accident. Of course, of course you're going to say that. But we're going to see, though. We're going to see what these other nations got to say. We're going to see what some of these other, um, you know, um, alter alternative um, reporters or alternative news stations got to say. We're going to see in a minute. There's going to be some more on this, man. He says it could be a number of things. Mechanical failure, uh, pilot error, you name it, he said. Iran's military order and an investigation. It has often in the past blamed security incidents on Israel and the United States, which both in recent years have struck Iranian targets. So this is what we pretty much about um, looking at, right? Because these people, like I said, they ain't been dealing like that since 1979 because they understand that America, you know, these so-called white people, they are enemies of theirs. And, and, and that's something that you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans need to learn. These people are your enemies. They don't care anything about you. They give you the worst of food. They, they, anywhere that there's a chemical plant, some type of um, 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 anything that's got to do with something chemical or or, or uh, can be detrimental to your health. It's always near your neighborhoods. They don't care about your water quality. They don't care about your food quality. You don't know what you're actually eating. <laughs> you know, this man is in control of, 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 of everything that we have to live on, you know, so to speak. And that goes off into. I don't mean the rent, uh, but. So lock you for that. But um, these people are in control of everything that you come into contact with, everything that you need. You 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 have to go, go to them for it. And that's all a part of um, Deuteronomy, um, the part of uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, the curses that are upon us as a people. So let's get one of the curses right here. Because the scripture says that we will have to go to um, our enemies for one of all things. The Israelis are not going to the enemy for one of all things. They're not going to their enemies for one of all things. Now, are they one of the biggest welfare states in the world? Yeah, of course they are. My, my, me as a Negro in America, so-called, they take taxes out of my money, and, and out of my check, my wages, and they send it to Israel. They're not taking no, no wages out of um, Israelis' checks. To us. Right. So that's one of the curses, though, that we will be under that we will be, uh, you know, at this man's, you know, uh, uh, we would need everything from him because he's in control of everything. That's why I brought out that Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand, hands of the wicked. He's in control of the money source, the um, the finances, the um, shit, gas that you may need for your car. Um, um, a cell phone that you may need to, com you know, um, do communications or whatever the job you may have. He is in control of those jobs. He is in control of, you know, the IRS, the CIA, the FBI, the FDA, all these goddamn, you know, acronyms, you know. He's in control of all those things. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you're not in control of anything at all. But yet you run around and you talk about how you have free will. Yeah, right here. Um, let me start at verse 47. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 47. And, and, and if the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are not going through this, then tell me who are. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst 
and in nakedness and in want of all things. So if you want some food, you got to go to the so-called white man's supermarket. You don't have no farms. You don't have no cattle. You don't have, you don't have no beef. You don't have no damn chickens. You can, you, you know, you got to go to this man for eggs. You got to go to this man for butter, milk. Simple things. Average person, they might, you know, they might have, you might have a garden, but you got to even go to this man to get his seeds. He's in control of that stuff. And it goes off into um, um, hunger and thirst. Thirst, what do you have to do for water? You want a Mountain Dew? You want a damn Pepsi? You want a, a, a Red Bull or whatever the fuck you were trying to drink? Who owns those companies? You got to get this man. Hey, you got to pay this man for bath water. You want to take a shower? You want to get in the tub? You want some water to drink? Bottled water, whatever it is? Now, you might say, well, well, all um, people have to go and do those things. But guess what? The so-called white man, hey, they just doing business with each other when they go. But when it comes to us, we don't have none of that shit, man. We got to go to them. So let's not front like, you know, uh, there's, you know, you got the so-called Chinese. They can go to their own people and get shit that they need. So-called Japanese people, they can go to their own people and get the shit that they need. So on and so forth with all these other countries. But when it comes to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you're going to these so-called white people to get your shit. Straight up. It says, um, in, and in nakedness. So where do you get clothes from? You might be able to say, well, I make my own clothes. All right, well, where are the materials coming from? Who, who's in control of the dyes and the, the needles and the, the, the thread and the, you know what I'm saying? All these different things that goes off into real clothing. You might own a little shop somewhere. You could own, actually, you're going to have a big ass store full of clothes. But are you the one that's actually making the clothes? Are you in control of, 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 of those particular um, things that it takes to make clothing? No, you're not. So Esau Edom, the so-called white man, he is in control. That Job 9 and 24, that Job 9 and 24, man, it rings true. Let me get it real quick. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? That's a rhetorical question. Like, who? if he's not running shit, then who is? Explain to me who he is. They're, they're able to sanction any country they want. These motherfuckers got um, 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 control over the land, the seas, the skies. They're able to say, you can't fly here. You can't go there. You can't have a boat here. You need a motherfucking fishing license from this guy. You need to go. You need a license from him to go hunt. And if you're trying to build anything, you better have his permit. If they'll deem that shit, you know, um, 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 as, as something that needs to be torn down and they'll tear that shit down. And if you're trying to resist them tearing it down, they'll arrest your ass. So you can't say that this man is not in control of the earth, man. It says he covered the faces of the judges thereof if not wearing. Who is he? Who's the main judge? The father in heaven that created heaven and earth and everything that you see around you. But guess what these so-called white people do? They place their face on it. That's why you, if you Google God right now, you're going to see some fat cracker, you know what I'm saying, some butt-naked-ass cracker laying around with some robe slightly, um, 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 you know, around his waist, you know, so to speak, you know, the finger of God touching some, you know, like he, he's, he's gay or some shit. That's all you're going to see. You put in Jesus, who you, you're going to see? You ain't going to get nobody but so-called white people. So the two main judges, the father and the son, they covered his face, man, with their look, their, their images. Knowing full well, the scripture describes them as being dark melanated. You put in Ten Commandments, you put in, you know what I'm saying, um, 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 apostles, prophets, uh, of disciples, Mary, Deborah, I don't give a fuck who it is, Samuel, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, King David, Solomon, well, I don't give a fuck. What character out of that Bible all you're going to see is a so-called white man. If you think I'm bullshitting, Google it. Try it. Just put in a name. Put in Daniel of the Bible. I'm not going to do it right now. I've done it before. I'm, I'm telling you now. There's not going to be no so-called Negroes popping up. It's only going to be so-called white people. 
So they covered the faces of the judges thereof, man. So this particular situation right here, and we're praying that it, you know, it, it turns on up. And, and this is just a piece of the puzzle. This is a piece in the puzzle, man. You know what I'm saying? Like the Lord is, you know, he's really about to get down on America. He's about to get down on you so-called white people in general. You damn Edomites. And he's going to use your own people against you, your ass. The Russians is Edomites too. So if Iran get down, it's going to be some Russian getting down. It's going to be China getting down. It's, and a lot of the allies of America is going to come up against America. Because they, because these countries are tired of America, man. And they're tired of is, um, um, the, those um, Israelis. They're tired of those people, man. They're tired of them. It's no, it's no production going on, man. This man has completely stagnated the world. When you think about it, everything should be prosperous. It, it, it's plenty of shit for everybody. But they have totally dominated the planet and have taken over everything. And, 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 and you know, they're so goddamn greedy to the point where they have, con you know, they've destroyed everybody, man, pretty much. Even their own people. They're dying off quicker than they're being born. You think that they will have programs where, you know, OK, well, you know, let's share some of this wealth so so we can, you know, build our population up. But no, 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 no. But that's all about the spirit and power of your heart. So we get that, too. We understand, you know, that the Lord, you know, um, um, matter of fact, the scriptures talks about them being small amongst the heathen. Let me see. Uh, it's uh, Obadiah. They are greatly despised. Yep, um, um, verse 2. Obadiah 1 and verse 2. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. And that's Esau in general. And, 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 and you know, the, the main tribe of Esau is um, Amalek, which is these, these people in Israel over there calling themselves the holy, the holy people. Talking about their 2% of the population. But the Lord said that the children of Israel will be, um, in, you know, innumerable, man, like the sand of the sea. So how are you just 2% of the population? If the Lord said that you, you, you would be more in number than, you know, pretty much the stars in heaven, man. What's going on there? So these people are fucking lying, man. They're not the people. And, and, and the scriptures also talks about how the least of the flock will draw them out. Let's get that real quick. And they are the least of the flock as far as, you know, um, Amalek, so to speak. Because they, like I said, again, they saying that they 2% of the world. But the Lord said that, 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 you know, the seed, you know, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob will be, you know, like the sand of the sea, man. Like, you know, so how the fuck are y'all, the, the holy people, and y'all only 2% of the population? That's not them, man. Jeremiah 50 and 45, therefore, hear ye the counsel of the Lord Yahweh that he hath taken against Babylon and his purpose, that he hath purposed against the land of the Chaldeans. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. So the least of the flock, that's those, those Amalekites over there in the land claiming to be the holy people. They're going to be the ones that's going to draw everybody into the bullshit. World War Three, and so if World War Three is coming, which that, that wars, rumors of wars are being talked about. Matter of fact, nuclear war are being talked about on a day to day basis. So guess what? That mark of the beauty and the beast is 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 coming soon to a theater near you. That mark of the beauty and the beast, that implant, that microchip that they want to put in your ass. That's coming soon. So while everybody watching the NBA finals, they looking at, you know, Diddy whooping Cassie ass in the hallway of a hotel. You know, you got um, um Kendrick Lamar and Drake and all this battle shit going on. A bunch of other stupid shit going on. So people, while they watching their Netflix and their Hulu movies, this man is putting together a plan to permanently enslave your ass. And it's coming soon. That crash of that dollar, and hey, that dollar, they, 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 look, shit is getting expensive as hell. Shit is out of out of, out of control, and, and and they're about to shut that dollar down soon. So guess what's next? That market of beauty and the beast, man. And you're not gonna be able to buy or sell. <laughs> you know, it talks about rich and poor, free and bond. 
So what are you going to do? You better be on the um, repentant and be dependent upon Yahweh Bashem Yahweh man, and not going down to Egypt, according to um, Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Because our people out here, they blacks for Trump, niggas for Trump. You just voted for this clown Biden. You you've been voting all your life and ain't nothing ain't no you ain't got no results yet. Stormy Daniels is on the scene. It's Trump trial. This Trump trial that, but he's still on the campaign road. He's flying in and out of, of New York every day on the campaign road trying to get you Negroes vote. And y'all gonna be stupid enough to go vote for this clown. And he's about to put them draconian laws on y'all asses if he if he wins, which we hope he do. And these so-called white people, they really don't have no idea what he's about to do to them. So get ready, man. man. It's a lot of things that's coming forth, you know. It's a lot of things going forth. And people are starting to realize it. You see a lot more scriptures being posted in the comment boards of a lot of these uh, these articles, even though they believe in white Jesus. But they do understand that, OK, yeah, these are end days prophecies. These are things that were spoken of that, you know, would be happening in the end days. So they do get that part of the Bible. They just don't understand that the Lord's name is not Jesus. He's not some white guy that the true name of the father is Yahweh and the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai. They don't they don't get that part. They don't understand that there's a so-called black man that's about to come back to this planet and he's about to enslave you, you, you um, so-called white people. You so-called Chinese, Japanese, uh, all you nations. If you're not an Israelite, you're going to be in slavery, man, in the kingdom. All that old, you know, uh, 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 the Lord loves everybody. Y'all going to see that that shit is not true soon. It's coming soon. So I'm going to end out there, man. This thing is getting tense. It's getting serious. But we're going to see. We're going to be following up on this. And we're going to see how much more of the, um, you know, information comes out on this, man. And again, it don't make no difference if whether or not America or Israel done this, you know, or had anything to do with this. It's all about the perception that they already have of, of, of America and um, Israel. They don't trust them, never trusted them. And, 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 and America, and they, they, they're notorious for doing bullshit, man. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows it, man. They can actually take an event like this right here, do a false flag here in the Americas, and have you motherfuckers back in your houses with, um, um, with military on the streets on some martial law shit. That could be a good, a good way for them to bring in the MOTB, the Mark of the Beauty and the Beast. This happened. That happened. The oil went up over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they're, 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 you know, causing disruptions in the shipping and all this other shit. Make prices go up. And now your ass out here, you fucking at $20 a gallon for a fucking gallon of gas. You think $3, $4, $5, $6, $7 is some shit for some gas? Give it a moment. Give it a moment and see how that turned out. People going to be out here looting. People going to be out here against each other. And there's going to be a lot of fucking chaos. And then what, what what's going to come along with that? Order. And they're going to be the ones that's, that's offering you the order after they gave you the fucking chaos. So y'all better wake up, man. So with that, I pray that this... Matter of fact, you know what? Let me get one more. It's about a spirit, man. That Romans 13 and 11. We bring this out at camp every Saturday almost. It's rare that we don't bring this out. This be the last scripture we bring out every Saturday. Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. That's where we are right now. You need to be repenting to the Father Yahweh in the name of His Son Yahweh Shai. And, and we understand too that that the elect only is going to get this. We're only doing these lessons for the elect. The elect are going to hear these lessons and they're going to or hear these these these, these topics coming out and they're going to be like, "Up, oh, yep. It's time for me to put the bullshit down. It's time for me to you know repent to the Lord and put the bullshit down. Let me stop acting up." 
Let me stop doing the wickedness that I'm doing. Only the elect are going to um, receive this, 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 this gospel, man. They're the only ones. So that's the only reason why we do these, these lessons. We don't know who they are. We don't know if we are part of the elect. We, we pray and hope that we are, but we don't know who those people are. But the Lord can actually get, I was just um, kicking it with a, um, a guy earlier, a um, um, couple hours back. And it just dawned on me, like, it, you know, as, I'm, as I was rolling away, it dawned on me, like, what if he's the last person? What, is he, what, if, what if he's the last one to hear this gospel? What if he's the last one that needs to be so-called awakened before the next step comes in the prophecies? Real deep, man. So we don't know. But we do these lessons. We got to do this work. We continue on doing this work. Don't let nothing deter you. You know, if you have the, the, the ability to teach, teach, man. You have that ability to prophesy, prophesy. Do these lessons. Put these lessons up. But the Lord is going to reward you for it if you're sincere. You know? And the people need to know. We need to blow the, We need to blow that trumpet, man. This is the trumpet being blown. This is letting our people know. We're on the towers blowing the trumpet, letting our people know that danger is, is, is near. And that we are, you know, we pretty much, man, it's about World War III, man. It's already pretty much popping, but we talking about like that real, real, you know. But it's it's done started, I would say, like little, little, little eight nights, you know, little, 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 um, you know, triggers here and there. But of course, that MOTB has got to come through before that full fledged um, 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 World War Three happens. So that lets you know how close we are, man. We we bought out of here. So again, repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of His Son Yahweh. With that, Kwam Yashalom.